right, bowl season is here. Moving on to Tuesday night, uh, late night in Phoenix, Arizona. we got the guaranteed rate bowl. Oklahoma State taking on Wisconsin. Uh, seeing the Badgers as a slight three and a half point favorite here uh, and, and you know, pretty low total as well at 45. It's actually up a little bit. Saw that at 43 pretty much across the board last week. Uh, this game is an absolute mess. Transfer and opt out galore uh, here in this matchup for Wisconsin. Two starting offensive linemen out. Three defensive starters out. Graham Mertz transferred. Uh, Braylon Allen, their star running back. Not 100%, though I think he will play. But on the Oklahoma State side, their top three edge rushers defensively all out of this game. Spencer Sanders, their quarterback transferred. So as you can see, if you thought you had a good read of either one of these teams throughout the season, you're going to have to kind of recalibrate how you think about each of these teams, kind of for different reasons. With Mertz transferring, I think he actually landed up at Kentucky. Actually, it's going to be either Chase Wolf or Miles Burkett for Wisconsin. Burkett's the true freshman, probably the higher upside. But Chase Wolf. It would make sense to play him in this game. I will say 28 career attempts and three interceptions. So hasn't gone well early in his career. It's simple if you're Wisconsin and if you're Jim Leonard, you, you run the football in this game. You know, obviously Braylon Allen had another really good year for the Badgers, but you know, they've started to develop some of that quality depth at that position that, you know, quite frankly, I didn't think they had coming into the season. So running back right now is your best offensive position group by far it's been that way all season i see no way that wisconsin goes away from that run heavy approach in this game i actually think that probably plays into oklahoma state's hand you know my worries with them all year have really been more in that secondary uh it's not something they're gonna have to worry about too much in this matchup just because they're going up against nobody's at quarterback but you know i i I don't worry as much about oklahoma state going up against the run weren't great in that area uh weren't really great in a lot of areas this year but still probably their strength defensively especially now that uh, they won't get much pressure on the quarterback in this game. On the other side, uh, no Spencer Sanders, as I mentioned. I will say they did have to play without him some this year. Uh, It's going to be either Garrett Rangel or Gunnar Gundy, Mike Gundy's son. Those guys have a little bit more experience than either Wolf or Burkett on the other side. Uh, Still, though, neither one of them played great. Both showed some issues with turnovers and just kind of freshman first-time starter struggles. So don't think we're going to get really good quarterback play on either side. You know, my issues with Oklahoma State, though, Spencer Sanders didn't have a great year. I think he's a very overrated player, quite frankly. You know, they couldn't run the ball this year. They insisted on using Dominic Richardson in the run game. Thankfully, he's gone now in the transfer portal. Uh, he won't end up anywhere good. He's not a very good player. You know, they actually have some, some talent in that running back room. Some young first, second year players like an Ollie Gordon could develop into better players. I'm not really sure why Mike Gundy didn't turn to those guys more, especially when the offense started to stall later in the season, but but I do think on the surface, you know, losing your quarterback one, losing your running back one might look worse than it is. With that said, though, I don't love them on the offensive line. And what do we know about Wisconsin? This hasn't been one of their peak defenses, but they're very physical in their front seven. Uh, it's going to be no different in this matchup. It's going to come down to, you know, can Rangel or can Gundy make plays through the air? I really see no indication that they can. Suffice to say, you know, if I had to play this game, I'd be on Wisconsin here. I think they know who they are. Way more than Oklahoma State does. I, I, you know, Mike Gundy's going to have to do a real evaluation of what happened this year. He failed to make adjustments week after week. And, you know, that's why they really kind of spiraled out of control late in the season. Think Wisconsin should be able to ride Braylon Allen to a win here. Uh, obviously, total at 45 seems a bit high to me just with, you know, total inexperience at quarterback. And we definitely know Wisconsin's going to want to slow the tempo of this game down. You know, my issue with playing Oklahoma State unders is they run at such an incredibly fast pace. With these really fast-paced teams, you know, more possessions means more opportunity for points. So uh, I don't really want to be involved in that. And, and quite frankly, this is a total pass for me. Way too many moving parts on either side. I tried to play a game like this earlier in bowl season. Cincinnati and Louisville, uh, at the end of the day, th- these kind of games should be avoided. With so much inexperience and multiple positions for both of these teams, uh, this is a total pass for me. I think there's much better opportunities on the board.